Hi everybody, welcome to uh, Andy's Beer Reviews. Um, this is uh, Skeleton Crew by the uh, S43 Brewery in uh, County Durham. It's a Belgian IPA and it comes in at 6.7%. Uh, um, got this from um, the Caps Off bottle shop in Bishop Auckland and it cost me £6 I think for this one. Let's get into a glass, shall we? Pear in there, it's never a good start, is it? Try again. So it's a Belgian IPA. Um, Belgian IPAs over other IPAs, they tend to be quite hoppy. Um, strange enough, although it's called a Belgian IPA, not, it's not particular, it's not a particular popular drink by um, Belgian drinkers. Um, it's called a Belgian IPA because they use a Belgian yeast in the uh, production of it, in the making of it, in the fermentation of it. And that just leads to a nice clean bitterness. Um, ends up tend to be quite drier than a traditional IPA. Um, and the yeast just does a lot more work in, in converting the sugars into alcohol. And you tend to end up with slightly higher ABVs. As we've got in this case. I've had them before. I've had a couple before. Um, there's a company, East Sussex, is it Burning Skies Brewery? They do one and, and that was quite nice. I really enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a um, it's not a style a lot of um, breweries are doing at the moment. But I think it's one of those that's kind of growing. I think people are going to get bored. I think people are starting to get bored with the really juicy IPAs. And I think people are starting to look at other versions of IPAs. I think Belgian IPA could, could well be one of them. It's it's a nice, different version. So we got there. So that has poured a nice um, golden colour. It's hazy. And that's got a good two finger, lovely foamy head. Let's see what the drum is like, shall we? Actually, it's got a. smells a bit like the countryside it's got those aromas in there it's earthy there's straw in there it's that grassy floral aromas it does smell like the great outdoors it smells really nice right taste cheers everybody It's actually really good. So I'm surprised. I always sound surprised at these sometimes, and I shouldn't be, I suppose. I think the first thing to note is that 6.7%, you're not getting that alcohol through. You know you're tasting something with a little bit of a um, decent amount of alcohol in it, but no way does that taste 6.7%. That's nice. It's citrusy. There's a nice, um, there's a nice orange zestiness that comes through on this one, and a, a nice um, tropical fruit flavours as well. Certainly, get some pineapple through on that. A little bit of um, passion fruit as well. There's a nice light 
spiciness going on as well. Sorry about the traffic, I decided to put um, keep the doors open to the uh, A labs today and I'm regretting it. It's um, windy, a bit noisy outside, so I apologise. Hope you can hear the review okay. In fact, it's so quaffable this. It's bitter. It's got a nice tanginess, which you do associate with a nice um, Belgian yeast. That tanginess is right on that finish. Pardon me. But it's also quite smooth and dry and very nice. It's nice on those on those aromas. You got those countryside outdoors. A little bit of citrus in there. I think it was like a little bit of. Uh, I think there's, you've, you've got a little bit of orange in there as well. So you've got though you've got a little bit of orange, those floral, grassy, um, straw aromas on the flavour profile. It's a zesty citrus, a zesty orange zest, zest citrus. Got some passion fruit coming through, some um, uh, passion fruit coming through. Nice little, nice little light spice on the back end of that, which is really nice. And a really nice dry, tangy bitterness. It's actually quite nice that. And I quite uh, quite enjoyed that. I'm gonna score that seven out of ten. That's a seven and a half out of ten from Andy's beer reviews. Till next time. Cheers everybody.